Three years ago, um, Vitz approached us uh, with the idea for a chair in occupational hygiene. Uh, and uh, we immediately grabbed at the, the idea. There's been a shortage of occupational hygiene skills in the country, and in fact globally, for some time. And uh, we saw this as a, a really valuable opportunity to contribute to the development of the field and the profession. The specific sponsorship that we're making to FITS uh, for this Chair of Occupational Hygiene is, is a, a, a grant. Uh, and the grant is for an amount of three million rand every year for a period of five years. So in total it adds up to 15 million rand. And so it's, it's a lot of money, but also it's quite a long time. And, and that reflects our, our commitment to saying we want to work with you, the university, uh, over time to make sure that we achieve the objectives that we're looking for. We, we want to strengthen the discipline of occupational hygiene. We want to see more highly qualified occupational hygienists coming out and going into industry. And it's not going to be easy over the five years. We're all going to have to work hard together to make sure that we do achieve those objectives. The sponsorship will be used to partially fund the position of the chair, which we foresee to be a professor in occupational hygiene, but also to sponsor a lecturer in the area of occupational hygiene, together with bursaries on PhD and master's degree level. Well, Anglo-American is the largest employer of occupational hygienists in the country, I think. Um, within our platinum uh, operations, we probably employ more hygienists uh, than any other single operation uh, in the country. Occupational hygiene is a particularly important uh, profession and, and skill set for uh, any big industrial uh, operation. For Anglo-American, our employees and the health and well-being of our employees is critical. Having the right skills out there to protect the health of our employees in the workplace is critical in this vision. And by developing the skills for people to control workplace conditions will contribute in having safe and healthy workers. Well, there are a couple of objectives, um, probably more than a couple. <laughs> the main objective is to uh, get a centre of excellence uh, in, in the field within South Africa. And through that centre of excellence, promote research in the field and we're hoping to get an increase in the number of graduates within the field. Most people are familiar with occupational medicine because that is usually run by doctors who examine employees, often at the time they first join the company, at periodical times during their service during the company, and importantly, when they leave the company. And, and those medical examinations are, are quite familiar to most people. The other subdiscipline in occupational health is, is occupational hygiene, which is more concerned with the workplace environment, and particularly uh, whether there are any hazards to health in the workplace environment. And the job of the occupational hygienist is to identify those hazards that may harm health and to find ways of controlling those hazards so that we do no harm to employees while they work for us. So occupational hygienists are the most fundamental and most important part of the occupational health response. Occupational hygiene is an extremely complex area and the competencies required for occupational hygiene is various from management skills to physics to chemistry and to toxicology and we do found that there's very little or very few occupational health development programs that incorporate all these competencies required within the basic um, education um, scheme. Unfortunately the, the, the occupational hygiene world is very small. In South Africa we currently only have got 172 registered hygienists uh, so that equates to that, that equates to about one hygienist for every 100,000 employees. Anglo Americans partnering with FITS because we have a long association with the University uh, of the Witwatersrand. Uh, the School of Mines is there, 
Um, we have a, a long history of being associated with WITS. There's also a very close association between WITS and uh, the National Institute for Occupational Health, uh, which sits here in Johannesburg. And that's an ideal partnership as well for a chair in occupational hygiene. So a lot of people automatically think there's noise, we'll put in your airplugs. No, a hygienist says there's noise, where's it coming from, how can we stop the noise? Uh, they don't think of airplugs first. Uh, and, and so it's, and it's getting that right, that's the work of, a, of an occupational hygienist. In the last resort, we will give you personal protective equipment because we were unable to do anything else about it. Uh, and, uh, it's, it's important to, to get that discipline working correctly in whatever workplace it is.